ladies and gentlemen, um, even though it's raining, it's a very good place to be and a very good time to be here. Um, and I've waited quite a long time as the gentleman left and right of me, of whom more in a moment uh, later. Uh, I won't take questions. Again, we're going to have to get back to this flag because I have other things to do elsewhere. But can I just reflect that uh, NATO has long made it clear that there's only one way to guarantee that the cost of our refugees will be able to return safely to their homes. The previous forces here, the surf forces, uh, must leave, and that, that they are doing, and I thank them for their compliance so far. And as you know, K4 troops this morning uh, began to enter. I gave the order to deploy this morning, and as you can see, uh, K4, the International Security Force, under my command, is now well into Kosovo. Uh, not only here on Pristina Airfield, but shortly, or even even now, I'm not sure, I've been away from the ops room for a bit, in Giuliani and Prisman also, and more to follow. I have with me, either side, my senior officers from the major NATO troop contributing nations. I would now like to pay tribute to the patience shown by all soldiers of all nations who have been waiting for some time for this day and for the professional manner in which they are conducting this rapid and complex operation. I also welcome here the Russian uh, K-4 contingent whom, whose commander I will be meeting in just a few moments. And I'm afraid that's not an occasion uh, for you, it's a private meeting. Uh, we are setting in place the command and control structures necessary to oversee the deployment of the full K-4 force. As the movements of the last 24 hours have only been the first stages of what is still a complex operation to be completed. This will continue so that K-4 can set about its mission, as I said a few nights ago. And this is to monitor, verify, and when necessary, enforce compliance within the terms of the military technical agreement. To assist the UNHCR in providing humanitarian aid to returning refugees, and indeed for refugees from within Kosovo. To establish basic law and order, and to provide core civil functions. In short, to provide a secure environment for all the people of Kosovo, whatever their ethnic background. We will be robust and we will be even handed. Violence or non-compliance will not be tolerated from whichever quarter it may come. The military technical agreement, which I signed only a few nights ago, regulates k reg relations with the Yugoslav forces. I shall shortly be telling the KLA how I expect them to carry out the actions required of them by the United Nations Security Council resolution. In particular, I should like to ask all the refugees and all those who are homeless within Kosovo just to wait a little while until we are ready to take them back to their homes. Their safety and their security are my most serious concerns. But I stress to them and to all the people of Kosovo, again, whatever their ethnic background, that k presence will bring them a better future. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I will close. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, it is uh, an opportunity, perhaps, for any of my uh, uh, national senior representatives uh, to make their own statement, should they so wish. I, I am not taking questions, but I do quite a get on the last question. I'm not embarrassed that the Russians are here, General, is surrounding Not in the slightest. I welcome the Russians. They're, they're part of k -Port. Thank you very much. Good night.